Scarlett, I love that you're helming another action film, you know, with the success of Lucy. It's just made me so happy to see mm. this. Growing up, you, musical theatre was your passion. So what is it about action films or, you know, this kind of physical role that appeals to you? I never in a decade ago would have ever thought that I would have, you know, had to take on such a physical challenge in, in, you know, so many of the roles that I've played recently. I think I have been really fortunate uh, in the past decade or so to be playing characters that are kind of limitless mm -hmm. in one way or another. And, uh, you know, without that, you know, it's kind of a expanse, um, you know, without boundary, you really are able to, uh, to make a lot of really interesting emotional discoveries. And um, it's been fun to have all that space to to play around in. And fun to wear that costume, which is so striking, but it's also what it represents. Her body is not, um, she has no consciousness mm. of her body is not hers, so it doesn't really, I mean, she, you know, her arm limbs get ripped off or whatever, and it's not, she has no sense of, yeah. like, lo loss when it comes to, you know, um, when it comes to her actual life, because it doesn't, it doesn't belong to her. Juliet, this film, you know, it's sci-fi. We're not used to seeing you in this kind of genre. How did you get into this story then? It took me a while to get in, uh, and I didn't want to get it from just reading the comic books and or the anime. I wanted to have an intervene connection with it. So I, uh, I was able to see some scientists, you know, and you know what they're going through at the moment and into the highest technology and evolution and what they believe it's gonna happen. They feel somehow they're gonna replace their humankind in, into a machine. Yeah. And so it's frightening. And I think part of me being in, uh, involved in that film was also to show the, the other side, uh, you know, the, the human side that is being transformed by her creation. Rupert, you know, you went from a fairy tale to a film, making that into a film mm. from Snow White, and then to this manga to a movie. Mm. You take on a lot of responsibility, so why, why do you want to do it? I saw it a long time ago and it really stayed with me. It kind of haunted me, a lot of the themes and ideas and the character of Major was so distinct and, and unique and, and unlike anything I'd seen before. There was an opportunity here to to have a, a very strong female character leading a film, surrounded by other strong, strong female characters, in a very unique and, and it's a very different film. You know, it's it's like you were talking about. It's a very uh, fast-paced action film, but at the same time, it has an emotional resonance and it has, you know, thematic philosophical questions in it. And and I think to me, usually they're they're detached. You either make a small film with great characters and and kind of theme or you make a big film with none of that. And I hope that we've kind of combined the two. Did you find yourself asking questions about how far we go, you know, with the technology, what kind of impact it's had on you personally? No, I had no time to yeah. ask myself those <laughs> questions. I really was, question. yeah, I was too busy with the existential <laughs> question. No, that took up tons of yeah. room in my brain. Um, you know, I mean, this character really has such a complex inner life, you know, she's a, tactical operative, um, which is kind of a, a life that's been chosen for her. And it's, you know, she's supposed to be avenging this life she thinks she had. And then there's this ghost or this soul or spirit or whatever that's, you know, trying to catch her attention and lead her down this path of self-discovery. And uh, yeah, that was about all I could handle. Yeah. Along with all the yeah. loss and betrayal and like <laughs> abandonment stuff, I'm, I was good, yeah. Just your average movie. Yeah. <laughs>